1955, then 23 year old Carolyn Bryant Donham accused 14 year old Emmett Till of trying to get at her inside her family store in Mississippi. The accusation that a black teenage boy would make an advance at a white woman in the Deep South at the height of the Jim Crow era was a death sentence for Till, who within a day was dragged from a relative's house at gunpoint, tortured, mutilated, and dumped in the lake. Let's get straight to it. Donham is now 87, and every other suspect in Till's murder, including her husband and brother, are now deceased. But there's renewed interest in the case because of the recent discovery of a warrant for Donham's arrest dating back to 1955, a document not subject to a statute of limitations and which has never been served. Now comes another bombshell. Donham had actually written a 99-page draft that might be the most detailed, if not only, document created by someone directly involved in Emmett Till's demise. In the memoir, Donham says she attempted to help Till once he'd been located by her husband and brother-in-law and brought to her in the middle of the night for identification. I did not wish Emmett any harm and could not stop harm from coming to him since I didn't know what was planned for him, Donham said. I tried to protect him by telling Roy that he's not the one. That's not him. Please take him home. I always felt like a victim as well as Emmett and paid dearly with an altered life. Shut up, bitch. You need to be arrested and being charged as accomplice to murder and finish the rest of your life behind prison bars. It's 1955 in the South, Mississippi to be exact, during the Jim Crow era. You knew damn well what your racist ass family was going to do once you told them that false ass story. Y'all wanted blood and y'all got it. So fuck your dead husband and your brother-in-law. R.I.P. Emmett Till and my condolences to the family who will forever be affected by this murder.